Good afternoon. It's the twin. No, it's the sixth rather of March. Five forty-seven. I've had a bit of a busy day. As I've said, I believe in a previous video, my mum and the rest of the family, stepdad, brother, sister, should, fingers crossed, be moving back here into North Walsham. Um, they're going to do an exchange, which over here, if like me, you're renting through a housing association, such as, there's, there's loads, um, Victory Housing is one, uh, there's, there's just loads, but anyway, if you rent through a housing association, you can apply to exchange. So if you want to move to another town, or village, or whatever, or somewhere else in the same town, there is a website now that you can advertise on, and you know, you see one you like, you contact them, so long as you meet their sort of specifics, because you, when you ad, advertise on these sites, you list your specifics, know whether you want a one, two, or three bedroomed property, you know, house, flat like this, bungalow, whatever, uh, and the location or locations. A lot of people, you know, will consider various areas and villages. But anyway, you just you know you contact them, you go view their house, they view yours, and if you both like each other's property and you say, yep, yeah, we want to, you then fill out the forms, your housing association will um, review them. But they'll do other checks, you know, like check your elect the electrical system out and whatnot. And if all's hunky dory, they'll say yes. So I am really hoping that it all goes through. But anyway, she's probably about the same age as my mum, maybe older, I think, actually. Although she might look older because she is an ex-addict. Um, but she needs a smaller place. And due to circumstances I won't get into, my sister's moving back in with my mum. So they need a three-bedroomed house, so... But, uh, she, because this lady's on her own, she can't do everything. Um, she can't move certain things because some things are big and heavy, so we're going to help. And that's what we've been doing today. She's got a skip in the garden and it's already f pretty much full. And, uh, we had a rummage through, of course. <laughs> of course we did. Um, so... <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I'm just going to sit on the floor. Got five head units. Car stereo units. Um, now, of course, my brother's getting close to passing his test, hopefully, fingers crossed, when his instructor's ready to put, or, you know, says he's ready to go and take his test. So, my brother wants me to see what works, what doesn't work, and I might keep a couple as well. Um, that's got Ministry of Sound written on this one. Um, they've all got the, you know, the detachable fronts. I don't think this one, no, this one hasn't. This one hasn't got CD built into this. This is just the head unit, so you would have to have a separate. Ah, this probably goes with a CD changer then, so I don't think that would be that useful for him. Unless he wants to get the CD changer. Uh, that's just a bog standard Ford system. So I don't think that's actually a lot good. And it's got code, key code. So, yeah. I would actually like it, because I would like to put this into a custom box. And just make my own little custom stereo up with this. So if I could, I might be able to find the key code for it. I'm on several Ford groups, so. Then we got an Aether one. I don't know this one. I think most of these are just the head unit. Yeah, this one is. This is a Kenwood. So that's a reasonable make as well. Don't actually know what this one is or what that one is. It's got a tape deck on it. That proves how old this one is. Still got the tape deck on it. What's this one? 
Oh, this is another Kenwood. This has got the CD bit on it. So I'm going to presume if it works, he probably wants something like that. And that one, looking at the state of it, I don't think I'm actually going to bother with it. It's old. It's rusty. I could clean most of that. But it's just an old Goodman. Goodman's? Goodman's. Tape deck. Oh my god. It's actually got the analog tuning. Look at that. Oh, I know it's in rough condition, but I hope this one does work. <coughs> Bloody camera cut off. Anyway, so old this is. Look, none of this newfangled plug and play. <laughs> you actually have to wire it up. Look, there's your antenna. You plug your antenna into that. And then here. I don't know why, but there's only... <laughs> do believe that would that's your positive. The blue, I'm going to say, is your negative. But then there's only three speaker wires. Has one... Oh, one's been cut off short in there. So basically, you'd have four speakers in your car, or maybe two, and then you just have left and right, and that's it. So... There's some water damage on it. I'm going to see if I can uh, get some or breathe some life into that. I need a 12 volt DC adapter though. Gotta be DC. I've cleared the broken drawers out of this. So I've actually got room to shove this sort of stuff in there out of the way. Um, bike lights and torches galore. This one, however. Is going to need a bath in some vinegar. Um, what I'll do, I'll fill a bowl up with vinegar and leave this to soak overnight and it should, you know, eat away all that alkaline um, leakage. Don't think anything's actually corroded as yet, but there's a lot of leakage, so it might come back to life. That circuit board might. It's a big might, though. There's Various torches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll count the um, head torches. Ten. If I count this little thing, 11, and I got two yesterday. That's 13 torches all out of her skip. Same with these bits, not the brackets. That's had the batteries leak as well, so. I'm gonna um, hopefully soak those. I'm not sure what's rattling around in there. There's another one. I've already got some lights like this, which is why I grabbed it, you know, spare. Also have got lights like that as well. There was a front one similar to that, but the prop, this is an ever-ready knockoff. There's a company in the late 90s, very late 90s, early 2000s that were making these with a clip button switch. But there's a proper ever-ready one in there, but I couldn't get the lens off and batteries had leaked in that as well. So, I think this is a rechargeable one, this one. It's got a magnet on that end. Oh, it might not be, because I can't see a charging socket. But the bottom is taped on. <laughs> That's not a good sign, is it? Uh, there's about three different wind-up torches here, so... And these silly little things that are meant to go on your key rings. That's actually lost the key ring. This one has still got a bit of juice left in the battery. So, we'll put new batteries in that. A lot of this stuff needs a bloody good dry. Oh, I forgot these as well. <laughs> Brand new friggin' set. Bunch of stuff here, fluorescent light with tube, with a cable on it. It's an under cabinet light, like that one, but shorter. I've got this standard bulkhead, 
Don't need it, but you know what I'm like with lights. <laughs> Haven't figured out what this is yet. I think it's just an illuminated laptop pad. I think that's all it is. There, a little speaker. There's not a cable to go with these radios. Like I need more battery chargers. I've already got. I think this will make my fourth one. <laughs> Rechargeable portable fluorescent light. If it's any good. I can see some cracking in that plastic, but there's some string around it. I'm not sure what that's for. If it's to hold the cover on, then I might just do away with the cover. But it's got the mains cable still adapted. That Dell computer, I've got the Dell mouse here. And the keyboard, I picked that up as well. So I've actually got the full setup. So I'm not getting rid of that just for that reason. It is a full setup. This is a child's laptop thing. VTech. I thought that would be uh, interesting to clean up and see if we can get it going. And uh, maybe open it up and have a look inside. That's one reason I grabbed a lot of this stuff. So if it didn't work... We can just, uh, you know, open it up and have a look on the inside. I'm going to put that in here as well. I might have to go and put you on a tripod because uh, I really could do it with two hands. So let me just get you set up on the tripod. So I've got a pile of CDs. I had what I thought a, a huge shed load of CDs, but it turned out about two thirds of them were empty cases. In fact, I've got some empty cases here. A pile of, now that's what I call music, cases, again, empty. These have got CDs in. Some I'm going to keep, but I think my brother might be interested in a few as well, so I've kept a bunch for him. Um, got an electronic dartboard. I don't think I've got a use for that, but I thought we could open it up and see what makes it tick. The electronic drum kit I was going to play around with. There's some 6x9 speakers in here for car. Again, my brother wants me to test those to see if they work. And that jumper pack might get that to work. Might not. It might just be past it. And a little portable CD player that if it works, my mum wants. So I think she thought I was going to steal that, but the whole reason I picked it up was for her, actually. <laughs> So, I've got a big bag of goodies here. Like I said, I've got to go through things and... Let me keep that rear light to one side because I've got pop... We'll have a look at that rear light. Right, I have... Some battery operated candles and this one's got a button on the outside of it. I have no idea what it does. But the batteries appear to be dead, so... This isn't a screw on bot. Oh, that's why it's not working. There's no batteries in it. I've actually noticed a lot of the battery operated stuff I found has not got batteries in it. And that feels so light, I don't think that's got batteries in it either. Oh, the hook's broken. Got a couple of screws up there, so. I suppose I've got to take them screws off. I'm getting myself sidetracked. Classic phone. I've got a Bosch. But uh, I don't think this one is salvageable simply because I've noticed there's some battery leakage. Uh, I could see if I could locate a battery. Sometimes you can find the... Um, find the batteries on eBay even for these old things but uh, you see I don't know if you can see in there that contacts all leaked over so <clears throat> just for something to do I could try and revive it if the battery's not too much I might go for it but again get some vinegar and I'll soak this in vinegar right what else have I got in here I've got a set of cordless phones and an air compressor down here as well. I've got a Diddy one, Diddy 12 volt one. In fact, I could find a 12 volt DC adapter and connect it to this. 
I'll do that just to see if it works. Uh, I've got all sorts of shite in here. What a lorry? Woolworths lorry it was one of my favourite stores until they uh, closed down. So we'll find some of like that. Oh, it's got squeaky wheels. Ooh. What have we got now? We've got a phone and a headset for something or other. Those, oh, it's a Nokia headset. An old Nokia headset. <laughs> you don't get phones with that connector anymore. So we've got old Nokia headset. Uh, brand new inner tubes. I don't know how big these ones are. I think they're 26 inch. Um, I've got a couple of just random handheld games. I was going to see if I can get them working and then again open these up and we can see what's inside them, what makes them tick. And hopefully get it put. This is actually working. Battleship is actually working. <laughs> can you see that on the screen? It is actually working. <laughs> there's a reset button. Is there a power button? Oh, there's a sound button. So let's fire and enter. There does not seem to be an on off button. I do hope I don't get too interested in these. I collect enough crap as it is. But that yellow one's not working. Can I get that in the bin from here? No. Nope. What else did I find? Stud finder? <laughs> ah. So that's on metal, so in theory. Well, it works. What batteries does it take? Triple A's. It's a voltage and metal detector. That's what it is. Switch it to that, and I don't know if there's going to be enough. Now I'm guessing that's going to be mains voltage then. Metal. Some of these, it's not stud fond, it's just got metal voltage. Handy I guess if you're working on a wall and you want to know where um, a power cable is, exactly where it is, you can use that. So that's an interesting little tool. We got something else that I'll probably just take apart. Like I said, I picked a load of stuff up just to take it apart. A manky old Philips radio alarm clock. Don't need it. I've actually got one. I've got my Lego one. It sounded like someone just uh, messaged me on Skype. <laughs> I think that was the Skype tower I just heard. I'm not there at the minute. Uh, video cleaning cassette. I have got one of these but I thought this one's still got all the accessories and whatnot with it and as I still have one two three four VHS players kicking around I figured uh, I'd nab this. Yeah it's got the fluid with it so that's all it is just one of these with a very short length of tape on it that just goes through and clean your heads. Head cleaner. <laughs> oh no, that was a piss poor joke. What else have we got? I've got a few calculators in here. This one. I don't know if it works. No, it seems to have auto power on off. Ah! I didn't notice that when I picked it up, but we're missing a battery. It's not a problem, I'll put a battery in there and put a bit of black tape over it or something. If I really wanted to. An actual candle. Just thought that'd be nice. I've got another calculator here, nice big one. I've got to be careful because some of these have the solar panels on, but they're actually fake, they're just there for decoration. But I don't see anywhere to put batteries in, and I can't see this one. 
working. Well, I don't think this actually takes batteries because there is no way that they would go. So that's something to take apart. I'm going to put on that pile. So take apart and or fix. We've got some pump adapters. Uh, got some indicators for a motorbike. I got three of these. There was four, but one of them was totally wanked, as we say. Oh yeah, there was a mountain bike in the scrap pile, so I took these off. The bike wasn't worth salvaging. And I wasn't going to bother, but then my brother sort of pointed out, well, those gear shifters are worth salvaging. So I was like, alright, and so I found some wire cutters and <clears throat> a hex key and took those off. So I've got a pair of those. Like I said, the rest of the bike just wasn't worth it. Here's another indicator. Got a dinky little battery one and that has actually still got a bit of power in the batteries so I'm gonna put some new ones in that one ever since I got my remote control one that sits over there on the bedside cabinet I've uh, <laughs> got a thing for these electronic ones I found this in the skip as well Samson telephone I do believe I still have a charger for this somewhere. Oh, there's no battery though. But it's just another random phone to go into my collection, so. <laughs> oh, and um, she also liked to collect car parts, believe it or not. Hence an interior light. Which I actually have plans for that. I'm guessing a lot of the parts came out of an old Ford as well. There was all sorts. There was wing mirrors, um, stalks that come off the steering column. I don't know what the stalks were for. They're either for the wipers or the indicators or something. Didn't look. I just saw stalk in the bracket and that was it. <laughs> Uh, the glove box I found, a sun visor, there's still some headlights and taillights in one of the sheds. So, yeah. <laughs> so, well like I said, you know what I'm like with lights and that's the interior light. Again, I wanted to box this in somehow. I'll just have like a custom lamp. And it's got the remote, which um, flashes green for some reason. Apparently it does work, but it's got a bit of a broken leg. Oh yeah, I can see, so it doesn't walk properly. One of those Robo Sapien things when they were all the rage. So, let's stick that on my hand, the remote. She's got a larger one in one of the wooden sheds that she's still got to sort out, which we might do tomorrow, because we're going back tomorrow. Um, a spare one of these. I say a spare, because I've already changed the one in the bathroom, which I'll show you later. This is going to be a long vlog, by the way. <laughs> talk, talk, remote control with a couple of batteries, which I'll have out. don't really need the remote control because I don't have a talk talk box. And I wouldn't use one anyway, I would just pull it apart. So, in the bin. <laughs> I don't even know why I picked that up. This I was going to clean up because it's one of those digital photo things. I was going to clean it up and uh, ooh, the bracket has fallen off the back. And uh, probably use it actually. Ah, oh, cool. It's a bit dirty and it's been out in the rain, so that needs to be dried off. But yeah, I do actually have an idea for that. 
brand spanking new bike motorbike indicator. I'll probably throw that on eBay. Got a Diddy one. There's another Diddy one laying in the garden. I'll probably pick that one up as well. That's the third one, but that's got a different lens on it. I did pick this up, but it's rather tatty and rusty and horrible, so what I might do is to salvage literally a couple of parts off of that and that can go in the bin. So I'm going to put that in the to fix pile. Found some sort of speaker type wire, quite a few bundles of it. Deliberately, I picked this up, there's some scrap wire here. Because uh, I'm always using such wire, so I thought that would be a good idea to pick it up. Very strange looking um, calculator there, look, it's all touch pad, touch sensitive. It's not turning on, I think the screen has been damaged as well from the look of it. Yeah. A battery in it. There is a battery in it. Could be dead. I'll put a battery in it if it still don't work. I'll just go in the bloody bin. There's no point opening up a calculator like this because there's nothing in them. <laughs> a chip, if you're lucky. There's the other shifter. That's a bit of rubbish. That must. What do you think, guys? No? <laughs> I'll just pick those up for the giggles as well. I do believe that was a 6 volt adapter, because I wanted a 6 volt adapter for something I can't remember. I don't even know why I picked that adapter up. And the birds are go. A little smart car I found as well. And some various earphones. I hope they work. Because when I've been delivering those leaflets that I've volunteered to do, I've been using overhead earphones. And the problem is, when I'm riding my bike and I'm turning my head, they sort of scrape and fall off. and It's not very practical. <coughs> so I've found, I think I've got three pairs. Here's, oh, I'll grab those. Um, a bunch of magnets, Simpsons magnets. Some of them might have to go back in the bin because the water's gotten to them, but yeah, that's all they are. I've just got to sort through those and get those uh, I think these are blunt. I haven't tried those ones, but I'm pretty certain those ones are. So I've got some tools in here as well. There we go. I've just found them in the boxes in the scrap pile. I got these as well. I thought these were bloody good. Never seen a pair of clamps like this. So, <laughs> they can definitely go over in the toolbox. Uh, oh, there's that bracket, the stand for that picture frame. And I've got a couple of screwdrivers here. There's another one with all the bits. Be quite a handy one to keep hold of. Oh, can I get it on the toolbox from here? My stepdad actually found this. I missed this. Chain splitting tool. Always handy for me to have because a number of these I break. And that's actually got quite a bit of good leverage on it as well. I think that would be quite a decent one. Top ear. So that can go over with the toolbox. Got a couple of pairs of pliers. And tape measure in here. That's it. There's nothing else in there really. An old tape measure. I don't even know why I picked this up. It's still leaking water. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might actually bin that one because you can't read the numbers on the tape that well. I should have checked that before I put it in here. Interesting little multi-tool. I don't think I'll ever use that, but again. 
Right. I think that actually that has actually covered everything. I've just got to sort this lot out. So yeah, I've got some cordless phones here. I hope they work. Again, they're in one of the scrap bins. Well, I've got rechargeable batteries in. Oh my god, they've still got the well, they still had the film on the LCDs. The only reason I picked it up is because one, it's a pair. Two, my one's getting a bit dodgy anyway. It still works, but it's getting a bit dodgy. These are Philips as well. Oh. So, both bases, all the power adapters and whatnot. This one got batteries in it as well. Yes, Philips batteries, they haven't leaked, but whether or not they'll actually take a charge is something else. They're dry to touch, but I'm going to leave them just to dry a bit more. Right. Don't actually know what I'm going to do with this battery charger, even if it works. Like I, see, like I said, I've got about three in the outside closet. I think that's where I put them all. I don't think I've got any up there in the top cupboard. I'm going to try not to come home with anything tomorrow. I'm not making any promises though. Uh, oh, actually, before we go, I might as well show you the 6x9s. We've got these Vibe ones. complete with three screws. I don't know if they're any good. Uh, these are 420 watts peak, 140 watts RMS. Minimum input, 70 watts RMS. So I'm guessing that means you've got to put in a minimum of 70 watts for them to actually make any noise. Uh, my brother was a bit worried because these had been left out in the scrap pile in the rain. He's a bit worried they were going to get ruined but they have dried out quite nicely it's not a paper cone so that's not going to get ruined so you've got a pair of vibe and he's got a pair of sony's full of water because that's just pissed water all over my leg um, sony explode Max input power 220 watts. Rated power 50 watts. Impedance 4 ohms. Magnet is strontium made in Thailand. Yes, yeah, so he's got a pair of these and a pair of the um, Vibe ones. And like I said, I'm, what I'll do when I test the stereo players, I'll use a shitty speaker actually just to make sure it's not going to blow up or anything. Then I'll connect these six by nines to one that I know works and uh, see if we get any joy out of them. So I'm just going to move that toy. That toy can come out of there. And I'm going to stack these up in here. These Sony ones are nice. I think they would look nice in whatever car he gets. I don't know what car he's planning to get. the vibe I'm just gonna stack them on there that's what I'm gonna do can't see or smell any reason you know why they wouldn't work so we've got all the fixings there they look in good condition they just oh I thought the cage had been um dented but it's actually meant to be like that so Oh dear. Batteries were left in this torch. So I don't know if I'm going to be, oh, be able to salvage it on account of there's still one in there. I, mean, I could try and. Oh, I just threw the bloody fluorescent tube out as well, which is broken. <laughs> uh. Yeah, 
think this one's actually beyond repair. Hmm. So I'm just gonna. I'll probably take that halogen bulb, but no, it's an LED. I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, I see that goes. Oh, PA didn't work. I don't need that circuitry or anything, so this is all shit for the bin. This is why you don't leave batteries in, people. Look. Don't. If you don't intend on using it, take the damn batteries out. Right, I'm going to show you what I've got in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, and then I'm going to call it quits for the video. And I'm going to get some stuff sorted out here. Maybe find some food because I'm getting hungry again. Now, got a new shower head and tube. I'm going to move my coat. Because I've got problems with this and I'll show you that as well. See it? I don't think there's enough water pressure because. As soon as I turn this round, look. I lose water pressure. See that? I've turned it right round to hot. Got it to flash again. You see the water pressure drop as I turn this into the hot range? That's the problem I've got. But yeah, it is meant to light up, but like I said, it's got some low pressure for some reason. So even the low pressure light is on, so... And that shouldn't be, so I've got to call victory and... Uh, yeah, let me take a look at that so I can use it. Anyway, that is it for this video. And like I said, we're back there tomorrow. <sighs> I don't even know why I bought half this stuff home, to be honest. But anyway. Thanks a lot for watching, as always. Like the video or dislike the video, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.